Maybe. Maybe not. Here we go. Okay. How you doing? Right on. Okay. Not okay. Turn. Welcome to Life with Belsum. I'm your host, right here at up. As you notice, the truck's a little bit quieter now. I put a muffler back on it. Just a small one though, not a big one. Just a single chamber freaking turbo thruster or whatever the hell it is. So that makes it a little better. But right now, shoot into town here to nap and pick up a battery real quick. Good old nap. I deal with Michelle at Nap and Sarnia. If you ever go to Nap and Sarnia, talk to Michelle and tell them dirty old Bills have sent you. Or she knows me as Bill from Gold Blast. Hey? Eh? Freaking right. She knows her shit, Jim. But I got a core in the back. We gotta get there. It's 11:30. They close at 12, so we gotta get moving here. And then we gotta get back and put a battery in the truck or a trailer. Maybe if the snow goes away. Oh yeah, just so you know, it's winter time again. Frig. And here we are again. So let's put the hammer down here and get into uh, Sarnia and get herself a battery cap.
even napa bread how you doing now that we got the battery i'm gonna go meet the dad at tim hortons and uh, have a little coffee with him but anyways here we go that guy's coming into gold glass accessories i stopped the gold glass accessories to have a little double whiskey if you're wondering what i'm doing sitting here so let's get rolling let's get rolling mm -hmm. let's get going Ah, I got my drone. I should go for a little fly at Ruski. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. I really don't want another coffee, though. I've been doing good this week. No chips, no iced tea, one coffee a day, and haven't been eating a lot. I lost seven pounds this week, so i got to keep that going. I did ruin it last night. I watched a couple movies and kind of cheated a little bit, but you need one day. And actually, I shit three times today just because of that. You know what that tells you? Too much food in the app, that's what it tells you. If you shit more than once a day, you eat too much. That's what I say. Once a day all week, it's felt great. Eat a lot, three times a day. What happened? Look at this thing in front of us. Look at the flares on this truck in front of me. And then tiny little skinny tires on it. Doesn't that look hideous? Looks like a wheelbarrow. Get a little carried away on your flares there, bud. I know the old Chevy Silverado's rotten on the box. If you're gonna put wide flares on, get some wide rims or some spacers or something. God, that looks stupid, Frank. If you agree with me, leave a comment down below. Why wouldn't you? Quality content, by the way. Oh, he wants a beer store. You wanna run that thing, Chachi? Hey, you wanna have a go? Jay, what do you say, Jay? Here, watch your reaction time. Might be old. Oh, careful. Easy, girl. Holy. Reaction time doesn't uh, keep up the old foot, Jim. Got a little wet spot under the back tire we did. <laughs> Actually, that reaction time is pretty slow, to be honest with you. I do have fly-by-wire, though. So you gotta, like, take out a few seconds there. 100%. Oh, yeah, right on, bud. Nice driving. Good old goal logistics. Amazonians. House for sale. That place would reach. Guarantee that. Driving around video. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. Like I always said before, leave me a comment. I'm stopping at a green light. Leave me a comment if you want more driving around videos. I don't do them very often anymore because normally I have nothing to talk about. But today I had something to talk about because we're getting a battery. I'm gonna feel real good about that. I don't want to get in politics, but if it wasn't for that goddamn person we have in house, we wouldn't be paying so much, making us all broke, putting people on the street. What a piece of shit. You know what I'm talking about. Very right, you do. They're all gangsters, though. That's what he said. I'm gonna vote for whoever gets him out. If somebody else got majority of votes, I'm voting for them. I don't care if I agree with them, disagree with them. I just want the other clown out, so that's the way I'm gonna run it. That's the way she's gonna roll with me. I don't know if you guys are the same. If you're in Canada, if you're in the Americas, you don't really care. I don't know what you guys are doing over there. I don't know if you're Trump supporters or whoever else is running. I don't even know if anybody, who else is running. Anybody? Is it still Biden? Frank, I don't even know. I don't even follow American politics, I don't. Even though I should probably, but nah, forget about it. So now we're going up into the old Chemical Valley that's not as big as it used to be. But, it's still decent. My dad's probably gonna take about 20 minutes to get here because he drives like an old man. Because he is an older man. So that's how they drive. Yep, I beat him. I knew I would've, see? I really don't want a coffee though. I don't know what to do about this, to be honest with you. This part where people come around from the drive-thru and just run right into you. That'd be awesome. I smell fuel. This thing's still running a little rich. Weird. I must have an injector that's a little sticky. When I back up, I can smell it. Careful there, bud. Don't be running into me. I mean, this isn't a good spot to park. Whatever. It's all good. Ah. A little breakfast sandwich. I don't know if I told you or not. I can't remember if I put the camera back on after or not. Went for a little ride under the bridge there to see what's going on. Nothing's going on. It's just another cold winter day. So now that I got my battery, you're just gonna head back home, maybe slap that battery. Almost in. done my chores for the day. 
Can you believe it? Look at the size of that muffler. Can you believe that? How'd the battery get way over there? Frick. So we'll set this over here. Okay, well, I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off and without you. I'll show you where I got to here. I was trying to fix my solar panels in the back shop. They weren't charging. And I'll show you that in a minute why they weren't charging. But I'm just in the middle of changing this battery in the trailer. But I had to get some tape and I figured I might as well grab my camera too. And you can watch. <laughs> Even though there's nothing really to watch. I just want to table these power wires because the trailer's still plugged in. Because that's what I do. So there we go. So I get this out of the way and I think I'm going to have to lift the box right out of here. Because there's no easy way to do this. It's kind of wedged right in there actually. Almost should take the tanks off. Almost. But I'm not going to. I can see probably why this wasn't charging. The positive side looks a little rusty there, it does. That could be why. So, we'll lift this out, if I can. Oh yeah, dick. Of course, that's in the way. Like so. And we'll pull the battery out of here. Or we'll dump it out. I am gonna put this battery over here. I'm going to test it with the rest of my battery just to see if it's actually it might not be I just don't want to take this trailer and the battery to work I like to sell stuff that works if you know what I mean so we'll slide this battery in Feels nice when that sun's out, but it still is cold. There we go. So we'll throw this on ground. I know there's another ground here somewhere. There it is. Ground, ground, screws, positive, positive. Holy, that tape works. Let me tell you what. Come on. There we go. Positive, positive, and positive. Screw. Well, I mean, not one of them. Yeah, of course. Read the snow. Tighten this up. Just so you know, this trailer come with a group 24 and I, I put a 27 on it. So all I had on the shelf was a 24. So that's what we put in her. Still around 200 bucks because I didn't have a core. But hey, it is what it is. I'm missing something here and I, I'm definitely got to be missing something here. Oh, ground positive. Okay, no, we're not missing nothing. All right, yeah, I don't want this. Right, nope, not missing nothing. Slap this back on, maybe, I said. Slap this back on. Oh my God. It's all on how you hold your tongue. Okay, I think we got her. Maybe, sure did. Holy, f that there's a little bit of a workout. So now we'll slow this, oh, slow this down. Now we'll throw this around. Right after I put this back up, I can see I'm gonna get a wet knee here too. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go, okay. How you doing? Right on, okay, not okay. Turn, oh, I said turn, I said turn. Good, so we want to go in, out and around and in. In, out, there we go. I said pull, there it goes. Pull again, pull. Oh my God, these are horrible. Pull, over, pull, pull, oh, pull. Every time I've worked on this battery in this trailer, I've cursed it for this reason. There we go. Thanks, that's it. Where'd my other wrench go? Can anyone see it? Because I can't. There it is. Woo! Battery full. Tits. Uh, F you. Where'd my phone go? In here? I swear I brought it back here with me. Maybe I didn't. Or did I? Did I drop it? Is it on the ground? Is it on the battery tray? Is it everywhere it shouldn't be? Probably. Son of a bitch. I don't know what I do with my phone now. Did I leave it in the house? Yep. That's where it can stay. Friggin' right, that's where it can stay. So now that that's done, let's go back into the garage. I'll show you what happened. So basically this is a solar system in here. I've got four 100 watt panels up here. 
and my batteries were all reading 10 point something volts. So they weren't dead, but they were dead. And I couldn't figure out why. So I said to myself, self, what the hell's going on? So I went through all this and I was looking for the connections and whatnots because it's a mess right now. As you can see, I got a, yeah, it's, it's just a mess right now. So it turned out to be not a fuse, but just the actual connection on the fuse box is what caused this whole thing to go down on me. So right now, this is a battery out of the trailer. And like I said, I'm gonna check it right now and see what it's sitting at. It's sitting at 13.2. So technically the battery on the trailer is probably still good, but that's okay. <laughs> that's not how I roll. I'll use the battery in here and I'll hook it up and Bob's your uncle. I'll hook it up to the off grid system. So then I'll have five batteries in here that for to run one stringer of lights. That's a good idea. Yeah, why wouldn't I do that? But these wires aren't gonna work, so we gotta go back to the other garage and find a jumper for this now. So let's take a walk together. They don't need to be much of a jumper just to keep a charge in the battery. I wonder what was going on back here. I was like, there's no way in hell those batteries were dicked. They didn't even have much of a load on them. So what I'm looking for here is some wire. And I think I might've found some. I need black. That looks like black. There's one piece. And I got a piece of red in my hand, don't I? Friggin' right I do. So there you go. So let's get these things connected to something. I might have to get smaller wire because I don't think I got any connectors that big. Like I said, I just need the battery to kind of just sit there and hum, if you know what I mean. Right on. Yeah, sounds good. I got these big bastards, which I don't want to with. Oh, I got one. All right, so I can't even hook it up today because I haven't got nothing to hook it up with. That's awesome. Okay, there's a power wire. How long is it? What's on the other end? Oh, we got one. There's one. Now I just need another one, something like that. Oh, 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 there's another one. Do we have a black one somewhere? So I don't have to use two reds on a battery? I hate doing that. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, Vaseline. What's really going on? How's there Vaseline in there for? I don't even know why they're in there. They're all garbage. Oh my god. There we go. Finally we got all we need to power up the batteries. But first thing I'm gonna do, take my tape. That's some good tape right there. Take my tape. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take my tape. My tape, I said. Here we go, now I gotta edit one of these videos again where I'm opening the drawers. Take the tape and make one black. Cause like I said, there's nothing worse than me putting a red wire on a black connection. I hate doing it, I'm not doing it. I don't even see a piece of black over there. There we go. See, now it's black. Now we're color coded again. Holy, the water's just pouring off the old freaking trailer rooski. Eh? She's melting, Jim. She's getting warmer out. We're going back to summer here in a few days. Oh yeah, listen to this thing, now it's charging. She's definitely have a little problem there, Captain. She wasn't charging. So we want negative to negative. Perfect. And we want positive to positive. Hey, go figure. In case you didn't know that, that's what we want. Let's get this one on here first. Then we can weld some batteries. That'd be all right. Okay. Or interstate. These batteries are 13 years old. 
just so everybody knows. So my off-grid system is maintaining batteries very well. And I'm not kidding you. I bought these when my daughter was just born. So we got two AC Delcos and three Interstates. And I used to have, I think I used to have eight batteries here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I used to have eight batteries. I put two of the Interstates in my daily driver and they went for a shit. And then I had eight, four batteries in my van. Remember that? If you've been with the channel a while. So that's been a while, but there we go. Right now the solar panels are making 375 watts, 15 volts. Now don't worry, I'm not putting 15 volts into my batteries because this is what the charge controller is for. So what we're putting into the batteries right now is probably going to be closer to 14, which I'll show you right now. So we'll go off the main one. This is the main feed in and we're putting in 14.8. So that's perfect. Actually, I'd like to drop that down to about 13, which it can do with this charge controller. That yeah, should be all right. We'll leave them there. There you go. Anyways, this was just a video of what I did today. So that's a pretty good job. See, I did something today that made sense and it did something for me. Fixed my off-grid system, got a new battery in the trailer, and Bob's your uncle. So hopefully everybody's having a good day like me. Don't forget to subscribe because it helps me out big time. And the like buttons help me out big time. So if you've been with me for a while, you know I like the likes. I have one guy that's negative every time. Give me a thumbs down every video. And it's one guy. I know. It's one guy. So whoever you are, you probably can't show your face because I blocked you. Sorry about that. But anyways, that one guy can F right off. Freaking right he can. It's not that it bothers me. It's just funny. It's one guy. What a loser. So love y'all. And we'll see you on the next one.